Hi, this is Dr. Robert Good. I am the immediate past president of the American College of Osteopathic Internists, and I'm here today in Chicago, Illinois, uh, at the Illinois Osteopathic Medical Society. And I have with me Dr. Laura Roche, who is the new president of the Illinois Osteopathic Medical Society, and Laura is a fellow of the American College of Osteopathic Interns. Laura, congratulations in your um, new election. Uh, thank you election. so much. Thank you so much. And Laura has other good news. She's also been named the chairman of internal medicine at Midwestern University. Thank you. So tell us a little bit, Laura, about what you see the vision of internal medicine at, at, at the academic level. At the academic level, first of all, Bob, it's such an honor to be able to be moved into this position at this point in time and to be invigorated by all the students coming in. And of course, as an internist, I love internal medicine and want to encourage students to consider internal medicine as a career option. What I see for the future, and what we were talking about a little bit earlier, is the use of technology is rapidly evolving, mm -hmm. as you know, and to be able to implement some of these uh, ideas into the curricula so for the medical students to be able to utilize. Um, what I do envision for the future, of course, is through this, uh, involving clinicians more as part of the teachers and the mentoring process and the education okay. of the medical students, whereas we don't traditionally sit and read a book and give lectures according to the book outline. Now clinicians become the true teachers of internal medicine and the actual application of the materials. The students can use the technology to help gain the foundation to understanding their course and their curricula and then we can involve uh, mentors and, and internists in their, in their education process. So we don't want to forget the Phoenix physician. No. <laughs> and, and how that might be instilled into your programs for physician leadership. So you want to just talk a little bit about that? Oh, absolutely. And what I love, and of course being a member of the IMS has offered me many opportunities to be able to segue into leadership roles and of course as a member and as a student and following IMS all the way through the ranks I am going to be encouraging the students to be more active and involved in their state medical societies because truly they are the ones who advocate for all osteopathic physicians on the local level and then serve as the representative uh, force to the AOA in the national level for our osteopathic uh, organizations. So, very good. Well, thank you very much uh, thank and you. congratulations. <laughs> and we want to wish you a happy holidays. All right. From thank the ACOI, happy holidays. <laughs>